Greetings one and all, welcome back to the channel, we are doing part number 16 of my Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars playthrough. There is a possibility we have missed a cutscene. Uh, in the last episode I ended it when we were boarding a train car. Uh, I assumed I could have saved it there, apparently I couldn't and I had to go through a cutscene and, well, there's a very high probability it won't let me backtrack. So I may have missed a teeny tiny bit of the dialogue for the sake of these videos. Uh, if that is the case, then I do apologise, but I am hoping this is one of the few times it actually lets me backtrack. So, let's find out if we can continue. Excellent, we are back in Spain, so we're going to backtrack. So we missed nothing. Before I left, though, there was one last thing to do. You won't be needing that replacement piece anymore, Countess. I found it with the children. You'll probably want to be alone for a while. I'll be out in the garden with Lopez. George! Welcome back. Come in, Josh. It's good to see you again. Is it? Sure. What did you find in Spain? Without Andre, we wouldn't have got this far, Josh. Yeah, I know. The clues led to an underground chamber at the bottom of a well. The Templars had left a tapestry showing a chessboard. The white pieces were vastly outnumbered. There was a stream running across the board and a Templar knight on a horse. Does it mean anything to you, André? No, nothing. Maybe we should tell André what else you found, Josh. There's a map and a Latin inscription to the west at the edge of the world. Josh found that in a cave in Syria. Yeah, where the assassin almost killed me. Then we've got the burning of Jacques de Molay and the date, 1314. From the window of the church in Montfaucon Square. One of the few places where nobody tried to kill me. Then we have the image of a church that Georges found at the excavation. I don't recall anyone trying to kill you there either, Georges. And finally we have the tapestry in Spain. Did I mention I almost got killed there? Not yet, but I'm sure you're about to. It was only my cat-like reflexes that saved me from certain death. Cat-like reflexes, eh? And while I was risking life and limb, where were you, Andre? Getting your glasses fogged up over an Etruscan vase? That's enough, boys. Can we get back to saving the world? Of course. My apologies. He started it. Well, uh, the Latin phrase are the words of Julius Caesar. He was describing the island of Britain. Are you sure? The map didn't look much like Britain. How come Caesar described Britain as being at the edge of the world? To the Romans, the Mediterranean was the center of the universe. Britain was a remote, unfriendly place inhabited by blue painted savages. It hasn't changed much. Well, they've stopped painting themselves blue. Except when they go to a football match. They used an extract from a plant called Woad, Isetis tinctoria. The Scots were using it until fairly recently in the wars with the English. Fairly recently? I don't recall the Scots being at war with the English. How recently are you talking about? I believe William Wallace's men used it in the 13th century. They might well have been using it as late as... Uh... You can't remember, can you? 1314. Ah, we're back onto that, are we? André, what is it? What do you mean? 1314 in Scotland. The Battle of Bannockburn. That would explain the stream on the chessboard. That's what a burn is. Right, André? As in Bannockburn? Right, George. And it gets better. Tradition has it that the Scots were helped by a shock force of, uh, well, can't you guess? Nat Templar? Yes, a group of outlawed Templars. They are said to have turned the tide for the Scots. And it all ends at a church in the Isle of Britain at Bannockburn in a church. What are we waiting for? I'll call a cab. I can't go. Andre, you've been loads of hell, but... What George is trying to say is that you shouldn't feel guilty. I was? We understand you've got commitments. Oh, listen, we have to hurry. Let's go, George. We'll see it through. Oh, and, uh, 
Don't worry about us. Dear, dear. International pissing contest. Right, this is pretty much where we ended up in the last part of the episode, so everything is fresh and new. Where are you going, Josh? Do I need to spell it out? Don't snap at me! If you're going to take a leak, why don't you say so? Okay, I'm going to take a leak. L-E-A-K. Tickets, please. Oh, hi. That's a standard full price peak return. Don't you have a senior citizen's rail card? I rarely travel by train. My ticket is perfectly valid, is it not? Well, yeah, but you could have saved up to a third of the cost. I do not need to indulge in puffling thriftiness. Blimey, you're a funny old bird and no mistake. Tickets, please, sir. Here. Off to Sterling, eh? Yes, we are. Well, I hope you won't be disappointed. It's a miserable place this time of year. Still, there's plenty of pubs and a lovely view from the castle. Thank you. I don't want to worry you, but there was something familiar about that guy. Are you sure? You're tired. Perhaps you're mistaken. Hmm, maybe. But I didn't like the look in his eyes when he spoke to you. Pardon me. She must be deaf. Yes, my dear. Do you know what time we're due in Sterling? A quarter to six. But we're running eight minutes late. Very precise. Would you believe that this clown's nose led us to being on this train tonight? I would indeed. No, honestly, it... You would? Certainly. You have an honest face. Yep. That's a nose with a history, all right. So you said. Does the name Merlin mean anything to you? Merlin? A master of illusions. Oh, you said Merlin? Then no. Nothing. Do you know what this is? Yes, I do. A young friend of mine shook my hand with one just the other day. Yeah? Well, that's outrageous. He should be shot. Perhaps. Tried. Still, his intentions were good. I'm sorry that you've been zapped by one of these things. You shouldn't be. What's the book you're reading? Oh, it's something I've picked up at the station. A medieval detective story. Quite well written for that kind of thing. It's been out of print for years. What's the title of the book? The Crooked Crusader Caper by Molly Pegram. I assumed the author was a woman, but apparently not. His real name is... Professor Nigel Pegram. That's right. Do you know him? No, I never met him. George is a great fan of his, though. Do you know Sterling well? Yes, I do. Is that where you two lovebirds are bound? Yeah, we... It's one of the places we thought we'd see on our holiday. Be sure to visit the castle, won't you? Oh, I'm sure it's a neat place. But we are not really interested in history, are we, George? Uh, no. Is there a church called St. Ninian's at Sterling? Yes, there is. And I know why you're going there. You do? Of course I do. It's obvious you're in love. You're eloping. And they say romance is dead. Okay. Can't you sit still, George? I need to go to the John. While you're there, check out the buffet car, George. Unthinkable though it is, I am hungry enough to eat English food. Okay.
is he doing? Having a party? No. This is Brickus. Come on, join us, man. Go away, Basha. Wake up, man. What's company? His breath was like the outlet from a chemical factory. Excuse me, mate. He's taking a nap. Sleeping like a bobby. I'll wake him up when we get to Newcastle. We passed through Newcastle half an hour ago. And I never noticed. What is that stuff you're drinking? It smells like gasoline. Hey, I'll put tears in your chest, Lake. And your eyeballs, too, by the looks of you. Do you know what this is? No, man, what is it? It's a hand buzzer. You won't catch me out with that, pal. If I'd wanted to catch you out, I wouldn't have shown it to you, would I? Well, maybe it's his mate, pal. Like a clever double bluff, you know? Have you ever seen this man before? Hey, man, he's chalky white and I claim my ten quid, Lake. No, he's an international assassin, and he goes by the name Khan. Well, I, man, but I was close, you know. Would you like a red nose? No, thanks, pal. I got one of me on. <laughs> See you later. Give an open that window, pal. Why not? It's freezing out there. Well, you're definitely not from Newcastle then, are you? Buster, this is a no-smoking car. Okay, maybe he did scare me. It got worse. I suddenly realized who the conductor had reminded me of. Eklund, Marquez Mercury. Okay. Hey, buddy. Listen, I need your help. What's the matter? There's a guy on this train who's trying to kill me. Relax, man. You wouldn't try nothing with us in Basharia. We are veterans like so action at Breitling Sea. I don't recall the British Army being involved in a conflict in anywhere called Breitling Sea. Well, you just check it for me, pal. You're in safe hands. See you later. Uh. I should have known better than to leave Nico and the old lady alone. Suddenly, the sword of Bafama took second place to finding the girl I loved. Okay. Hey, buddy. Did you see what happened to the young woman in the next compartment? No, pal, I didn't have you lost her like. She's disappeared. The old lady, too. I think they're in trouble. Oh, we yeah, man, an old lady, too. Yeah. You gotta help me. Maybe they went to the toilet like. I don't think so. They never go on their own. I was in pairs, you know. No, she's been abducted, I'm sure. I've got to go look for her. What's stopping you, pal? The conductor. 
He's not what he seems. You want to avoid him, like? That's about it, yeah. No problem. See you later. Yeah. I want to get out the window. Give it to it, pal. Don't jump. I don't intend to jump. I'm going to climb on top of the train. You're kidding, aren't you? Just watch me. <laughs> okay. Hold on now, pal. I'll give you a hand, like. Chance. Oh, okay. Uh. You saved our lives, but why? We were always on the same side. Stobart, different causes, but a common enemy. The Knights Templar? Don't call them that. The real Templars were a noble foe. These uh, barbarians have no right to that name. These men are no better than dogs. What are the Neo Templars after? What is the Sword of Baphomet? Not what you think, my friend. It is a weapon, yes, but one which our enemies will find difficult to wield. A double-edged sword. A power older than Timole, older than Solomon. We'll stop them. You and me together, and Nico. No, George. My journey ends soon at the Garden of Paradise. You're talking in riddles. Can't you tell me straight what they're after? The sword symbolizes a colossal energy caused by the alignment of the Earth's natural power fields. Which are focused at St. Ninian's. The energy endowed the Templars with the power which made them great. A power which made them charismatic to such an extent they could control the will of all around them. How did you escape from the bull's head? It is a long walk from the cliff of the bull to the village, Stobart. Fortunately, I know the ways of the wilderness. May Allah guide you to our enemies. Thanks. One last thing. What? What is it? He's dead. Don't worry. I hadn't forgotten about you. And tell me this instant, Jostobat. I will. When I'm ready. That's not fair, Josh. No. You took advantage while my hands were tied. When Eklund pointed that gun at me, I thought I was going to die. I thought of all the things that I'd never get to do. And kissing you was at the top of my list. Josh? Uh-huh? Josh, we've got to get off the train. Eklund could recover at any time. So what are we waiting for? What are you doing? I'm out of here. Not that door. Do you want to end up like Flap? Not especially. What remains of him is well on his way back to London. I hope he was traveling on a return ticket. Some sort of castle? I'd feel happier if we had a gun or something. Khan gave me something. What? His handbag. Oh, <laughs> great. If we run into any killers, we can give him a good buffeting. Didn't he have any weapons? You don't know half of it. This bag's full of C4. Wow, why didn't you say so? Boy, we'll show him now. What's C4? Plastic, oh my God. Josh. We're going to shop our way to victory? Two kilos of plastic explosive. 
The detonator's broken now. No problem. We'll buy a box of matches somewhere. It doesn't work that way. It takes a small explosion to start the big explosion. Well, that's not much use then. What does that sign say? Apparently, during the English Civil War in the mid 17th century, this place was used as an arms dump. Yeah, there'll be dynamite in there. Look at the state of this place, George. You work it out. Oh, stray spark? You got it. The tower was the only thing to survive the blast. I hope the explosion didn't destroy the Sword of Baphomet. Do you? I rather hope it did. We've got a door, something else, and a big pile of rubble. No idea what that is. I scrabbled around in the rubble and found an old clay pipe with a broken stem. Under one of the stones, I found a metal coin which was green with age. It was caked with soil. But what I'd found was a small cog and spindle. Any more? With mounting excitement, I felt something between my fingers. It was short, hard, and black. Something I hadn't expected to find here. It was a plastic pen top. I didn't find anything. Oh, okay. Well, that was interesting. The handle turned easily, and the larger wheel began to revolve. Oh, it's a, a winch. Of, right, okay. Damn. Then the handle came off in my hand. With the clay pipe in his mouth, <laughs> he looked happy, homely, like somebody's granddaddy. What do you think you're doing, Josh? I wondered if there was a secret mechanism in the demon's mouth. Maybe you should show a little more respect. For a oh. mythical medieval demon? Give me a break. Okay. <laughs> Go right ahead. Meddle with forces you don't understand. Incur the demon's wrath and burn in hell. Just see if I care. I will. Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's have a think about this. We've got a gargoyle. We've got... Uh, no. Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah. Uh... It was no good. The demon wasn't inhaling. <laughs> okay. Now that the handle was gone, it was easy to remove the cog and spindle. Hmm. See, I assumed that was going to open that. Guessing not. Hmm. Maybe not. It wasn't the right hole for that cog. Oh. So there is a right hole. The cog slipped neatly into the eye socket. Ah. Okay. With a rasp of metal on stone, I eased the second eye into place. No? No. Spindle? I pushed the handle into the demon's mouth. The cogs all meshed. I began to turn. Well, hey, there we go. Hmm. 
As soon as I saw the flickering torches, I realized the bogus Templars had beaten us to the sword. But where were they now? And why was it so quiet? Listen, I can definitely hear chanting. You're right. I hear it too. What do you suppose they're doing? It wouldn't surprise me if they were holding some kind of satanic sex ritual. So, what are we waiting for? Will you look at that? Baphomet. Labino was right. This place was ancient even to the Templars. This whole place? This is Baphomet? Finally, the truth. The Templars had never worshipped this graven image. No more than they'd worship a rainbow. But, like a rainbow, they regarded it as a symbol of a covenant with God, who'd revealed this place to them. Rosso! Why, the double-dealing treacherous? On the contrary, Inspector Rosso has been the model of obedience. An important quality in a true Templar. Now be quiet and watch if you wish to live much longer. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here to witness the reforging of the sword that was broken. Here before God's sentinel, Baphomet. Grand Master and Knight of Baphomet, we salute and pledge our obedience to you. I salute you, Gatekeeper of the Temple. Seven centuries ago, our greatest weapon, the sword of Baphomet, was lost to us. Now we prepare to reforge it, to wield against new enemies. We shall lead the people to a new order, wherein all borders will dissolve. All will be united under the Red Cross of the Templars. Oh, that was shocking. George, we have watched your efforts to stop us with respect. But surely you realize that you have been misled by our enemies. Both of us want a better world. Fortunately, no harm has been done. We need determined, resourceful men like you. Join us, George. Join us in true brotherhood. Yeah. True? Wait. Brothers? What about Marquet? What about Pegram and Klausner? You didn't look on them as brothers. Only as failures. Three men dead and you don't give a damn! George! You know that sacrifices are necessary. Every great undertaking. Join you. I'll see you in hell first. Ah, oh, Georges. I had great hopes for you. C'est la guerre. Eklund. Kill him. Yeah, that was well done. I swear, I just wanted things to be right. Take them. Kill them. They will not escape. Well, well, if it isn't the great detective.
and his beautiful assistant. It's going to be a pleasure killing the pair of you. Josh, what are we going to do? Oh. Come on, Nico, we're leaving. You fools! You cannot escape us! Guido! Stop them! Uh, that's gunpowder. The powder! That powder is from the English Civil War! You fool! He's over 300 years old! How explosive do you think it can be? Um, fairly well. All over, but Nico had one last trick up her sleeve. Throw the C4 or in it. In her handbag, to be exact. A handbag full of plastic explosives. Maybe, but this stuff is brand new. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not going to work. We didn't stay long in Scotland. George had a vacation to finish, and I had another story to write. Not the real story, of course, but enough half-truths to fill a page and pay my rent for the month. George and I hung out together in Paris. I showed him my favorite restaurants, and he told me his best jokes. You know, Nico, this city holds so many memories for me now. The cafes, the music. The sewers. Tell me about it. The clowns. The jugglers. <laughs> and your pal Labano. Oh, yes, dear Andre. When we first met, and I was doing my detective stuff, you kind of disappeared a lot, Nico. Were you and Labano, uh... There was something happening, but nothing to do with Andre. Uh-huh. It was something from the past that I had to deal with, on my own. So, I dealt with it, and now it's over. Hey, did I ever tell you the one about the old Irish couple in the lottery? No, but I think you're going to. Okay, there's this old Irish couple. They've been married forever, like 50 years, and they win the lottery. And there we go. Broken Sword Shadow of the Temple is complete. Um, it's not bad. Um, not my cup of tea. But uh, we finished it, we got all the way through it. Uh... I can't say much more now. I, I can see why certain people do enjoy it uh, for the uh, the genre that it falls into. It's a great game. It's certainly a classic. Um, if you like point and cut games, then absolutely give this one a playthrough. Other than that, uh, it's yeah, it's not my thing. Um, but I'm still glad I played through it. At least I can say I finished that this particular game. So uh, yeah, that is it. We're done. So thank you all very much for joining me. Really hope you enjoyed it. Throw us a comment if you feel like it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for other content, new games upcoming. Other than that, have yourself a fantastic day, and I will catch you all on whatever game I'm playing next.